What's up guys, Inigami here, and let's go over some One Piece Treasure Cruise news. On the global version of One Piece Treasure Cruise, Rayleigh's gone. Goodbye, Raid Boss Rayleigh. Wow, he was a lot more difficult than I expected him to be. I am... I, I got trounced. But Raid Boss Barto was a lot more fun and a lot more enjoyable. On the Japanese version, we got Christmas events starting to be announced. First one, it's Christmas to she. Now, unfortunately, or well, let's, let's start with this one. We're getting turkeys. That's 5 million EXP turkeys. We're going to get them on the 24th, on the 25th. That's 5 million EXP. That basically just maxes out any character that you have. We had a free pull every day on a 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. Free pulls. Do them or lose them. Might as well just use them. Christmas to Shiki. Now, Christmas to Shiki is going to be an ambush that happens on any non-Clash or Coliseum stage. Uh, so you can't get ambushed on the end of a Clash, so it's not going to replace, like, a Cavendish ambush or something that you would have gotten. This is going to be an ambush for Fortnites and stuff like that. So you're doing a Fortnite, you'll get ambushed by Tashiki. Tashiki does not drop. Tashiki is... Uh... She, what Shigi will drop is she'll give you skill books, or socket books, turtles, and cotton candy. And it's a pretty easy island, so while you're doing that Fortnite, you can get some extra stuff. Especially if you're using Buggy, you can get lucky and get some extra extra stuff with Buggy. Oh yeah, this this turkey up here, this is the, two, this is the, per, the guaranteed skill up Thanksgiving turkey. Or I guess it's not Thanksgiving. So this is the permanent... I keep trying to say permanent... The guaranteed skill up turkey. So this will not only give you 5 million XP, but also give you uh, one skill up. So this Tashiki will show up at the end of Fortnites and stuff. Might as well do it. Pretty easy to beat. And also gives you princess turtles, socket books, and cotton candy. We are getting a Christmas Luffy Fortnite Island event. This will drop the Wintertime Luffy and Wintertime Zoril. Neither of those characters are really good, but they do give you sockets for Luffy's and Zoril, so that's always great. The most important thing about this island is that there are going to be weekly Chopperman missions with it. The big things are the uh, one run, five runs, and ten runs every week. You can get a gem for one, five, and ten runs. The rest of these are basically evolvers. And these Chopperman missions will reset every week. So over these three weeks, you basically get three extra gems every week. For doing the Luffy event island, you can get turtles, berries, and cotton candies off of it. And also the Wintertime Zoro and Wintertime Luffy's from there. And here's where it says that it resets every week. Ah, this is a fun one. So we are getting permanent double stamina, double drop on raid bosses. Yes, 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 yes. Permanent double stamina double drops on raid bosses is going to start on the 5th. So after this weekend, you can now double stamina double drop all raid bosses. Makes it so much easier to farm raid bosses. Oh man, I'm so ready for that. We also are getting a new round of zero stamina raid bosses. So you can see up here, we're going to get zero stamina, Sabo, Hancock, Kuma, Aokiji, Zephyr, and Virgo. If you don't know what the zero stamina raid bosses are, how it works is that it costs zero stamina. You get to run it, or you get to beat it one time. You can run it as many times as you like. So if you want to sit there and use some really stupid teams to see if you can beat a raid boss or not, or if you want to, or you've never even beaten that raid boss before and you want to just try it out, you've never wanted to waste the stamina, that is a perfect time to try to see if you can beat the raid boss. That way you can farm it whenever he comes out on the regular rotation. So zero stamina, it's mostly for people who haven't done the raid boss before, or if you need a few more copies of him to max out your limit breaks, or get a few sockets on other characters. As you cost zero stamina, you still get EXP and drops and everything from it. Do it that one time. Uh, and some of them are the full difficulty. For example, last time around, Doflamingo was a 60 stamina fight. However, other ones, like the Virga one, was the lower difficulty fight instead of the higher No, Virga was a regular difficulty. You cannot double stamina, double drop Neo Raids or Neo Coliseums. Oh, man. I really want you to farm those Neos. <laughs> uh, it's okay. We're get one step closer. One step at a time, Bandai. We are getting Evolvers from Friend Point Pulls from the 11th to the 15th. This 
I got really, really excited for because of the Saints. But it's just a money island. Now, I do need more money. My berries have been going down recently because of how expensive limit breaks are. To limit break a character, it costs like 8, 10 million berries. So, like, I only have enough berries to max limit break like one or two other characters right now. So limit breaks are getting pretty, pretty expensive with your berries. So actually you're making a new limit break, a uh, new berry island that's going to be here for a few days. You can run it only one time per day. Depending on how difficult it is, it might even be worth using characters like Giola, the old Dex Giola, whose captain ability gives you double berries. That is potentially a nice thing to do. If you want to get that extra, extra berry, if you can pull it off, we'll have to see how hard it is. We are getting a plus three cotton candy island coming out. So this is the Cafe Le Crap. Probably the exact same. It is definitely 20 stamina, 40 stamina. Probably the exact same fight as before, but now we're going to be getting plus three cotton candies off of it. Which means you really want to farm it super, super hard. And while normally I would say the 20 stamina one is barely worth farming, definitely farm the 20 stamina one also. Because, you know, a single cotton candy off of that gives you three of that stat instead so it's going to be really nice and max out cotton candy on characters and also cheaper on your berries which is starting to get a little thin now princess turtle island coming back from the fifth to the ninth we're also getting uh elder turtle island from the 11th to the 15th remember you could run these three times per day and you do also get a gem for completing them so make sure you do them cola island coming from the fourth to the eighth one time per day that you can do it and we're getting a gem every single day double skill ups between the 14th and the 17th and double super success from the 7th to the 10th and then from the 21st to the 24th that's it for the japanese one piece treasure cruise news but you might notice above my head that last bit of text that people have been asking you about for the last few weeks and yes i do think that I'm going to stop playing the global version of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Now, this is not because the global version sucks or the Japanese version is better or anything like that. The reason I'm not going to be playing the global version of One Piece Treasure Cruise anymore is just because I... With how much Bandai wants you to farm multiple things, like having to do Neo Colosseums again, I don't want to do a Neo... Kinemon, regular Kinemon on global, then a Neo Kinemon and regular Kinemon on Japan. And Adventure Mode especially takes a heck of a long time. Oh my goodness, Adventure, Adventure Mode takes a long time to grind out. So with how much Japan wants out of me, I don't feel like I really want to play both a Japanese and a global version anymore. So I'm going to be stopping playing my global version of One Piece Trailer Cruise. I'll still try to keep you guys updated with the news. And I try to make some guides that work for global versions also. That does mean I won't be making as many global guides for new global fights. Now, what will happen to my global account? Right now, I'm thinking of selling my account. I put a lot of love into that account. I'd like it to know, like to know that it's gonna go to somebody who's also going to love it. I have like 350 gems on it still, so I think I'm gonna. If, if the next big Sugo Fest on Global is a good Sugo Fest, we might do some. A final goodbye Seagull Fest hurrah. Spend a lot of those gems on some sweet multis. Maybe get a good character or two and then I'll be selling that account off. If you are interested in that account, slide into my DMs. Discord or Twitter especially, they are open. And I'll be looking at offers. Serious offers, please. Guys, I've been Zinigami. It's not bad news. Because it does mean we get to spend time on more games. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite over on Twitch. It's been super fun. And uh, maybe if I get good enough, we'll make like a highlight reel. And you get, everyone on YouTube can get to see me die slash kill people on Fortnite also. I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. And y'all stay beautiful.